This is Bishop Talbert Swan, man. Angry black guy, man. He said, everyone is expressing their outrage over the WNBA's 2024 number one draft pick, Caitlin Clark, having a rookie contract that starts at a mere $76,535. I wonder why this outrage wasn't expressed regarding the paltry salaries of the number one draft picks in the East. That's crazy. They've been complaining about this shit for years. Black people are evil, man. They've literally been complaining about the wage gap for years. And we've had to educate them why they make less money for years. So he thinks that the only reason they're complaining about the wage gap it's because Clayton Clark is the number one pick. <laughs> yeah, they're overpaid. They don't make any money. They should be happy she's getting $76,000. And they should thank the WM, they should thank the NBA every day, man. Where's the humility, man? We, we'd like to thank the NBA for for subsidizing our league for the last 28 years. We'd like to thank the NBA for subsidizing our league for the last 28 years. Nothing, no humility. Why are we not making the same amount of money? Shout out to Pamela Henderson, man. Shout out to Paul Mullahan. It's also shout out to the Lux 247 from last night, man. Bunch of people I didn't get to last night. Last night was a decent show, man. Decent, man. Decent show, man. Um, salute to Dina, also, and Eric S., man. Ah, Nation Hall of Famer, man. <laughs> Yeah, but Mr. Bishop Talbert Swan, man, they're not complaining about this because Caitlin's the first pick. They've been complaining about this for years. Women don't understand, man, that if you don't make any money, man, first, a lot of things you got to explain to a, a black people and women, man. Because This is a black man who doesn't understand this. But he doesn't understand a different part of it. Um. Caitlin Clark got invited on Saturday Night Live instead of the boring, anonymous chicks from South Carolina basketball team because Caitlin Clark gets ratings, and she's very popular, and people want to see her. Now, when it comes to the White House, the boring, anonymous chicks from South Carolina's basketball team will be invited to the White House because they won the championship. But – this notion that Caitlin Clark should forfeit every opportunity she has to the South, to the anonymous, boring players on South Carolina basketball team because she lost the championship game is literally makes me just further think that yeah, black people, I see how you were enslaved. I see how Africa looks the way it looks. Black people are not very smart. They're not very smart. It just is what it is. Press one. No, better yet, press one if you think black people are smart as a collective. Press one if you think the collective of black people are smart. Okay, black folk, we got a couple of one. Oh, no, that person changed. <laughs> they... They, 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 they put a one and they immediately put a two. Damn. Damn. Yeah. That first accidental one is the only one you got. Black people are not very smart, man. These black, these WNBA chicks have been complaining about their salaries for years. And they have no idea how it works. They have no idea how it works. You don't 
return a profit. Therefore, the salaries you do have are charity. And you should thank the NBA every day for the little money you do make. Instead of complaining why you don't get more. Now, hopefully, Kate and Clark's popularity can change that for you guys and you guys can start making some money. But here's my thing, man. Listen. I'm going to put it to you like this, man. Um, After 28 years of losing money as a league, that first little bit of money y'all make, off of Caitlin Clark. Y'all owe us some back pay, man. <laughs> Y'all owe the NBA in back pay. Y'all got to pay off that 28 year, years worth of debt before y'all start increasing y'all salaries, man. Fuck that. They acting like they just going to have this big year with Caitlin Clark and then they just going to start increasing their salaries. Hell nah. Y'all owe us. Y'all got a bill, man. <laughs> Y'all got a bill with the NBA, man. Y'all owe the NBA 28 years worth of fucking back pay, back pay salaries and flights and promotion. Y'all don't just get the pocket, the motherfucking first check y'all make when y'all finally earn some money as a league. Y'all got to pay off that 28 years. Fuck that. But I know the NBA ain't going to make them do that. The NBA going to let them keep their little money and shit. NBA like their parent, man. <laughs> NBA treat them like their parent and shit. NBA going to let them keep their little money and shit. Pat them on the head. Oh, you did a great job. Y'all made some money now, man. Whatever, man. Shout out to the WNBA. I wish black people understood the word world. They don't. They don't understand the world. So it's just gonna keep having these um issues with black people not understanding the way the world works. 